Wiki Watchers, my name is Dab Boys in the Hood, and unfortunately, I am not joined by anyone today. Apart from my amazing Christmas tree. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reacting to I am El Chapo escaping from prison. If you guys don't know who El Chapo is, he is this Mexican drug lord who escaped from prison multiple times and this is his story on him escaping prison once again before he got caught in 2018 was it 2000 no it was 2000 yeah it was 2018 uh by the mexican police trying to escape the mexican border to go into America to have a new life. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. So, here is his story. July 11th, 2015. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is this. That's all I can take before I'm at the desk. I turn and pace back the other way. Another seven steps and I'm at the shower. The whitewashed walls of my cell are dingy and speckled with flecks of blood and God knows what else. Cell number 20, caged like an animal. I pace some more, sweating. I sit on my bed, nervous, trying to look normal. The funny thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, was the Mexican police knew exactly what was going on in his cell. Because with that, with the CCTV footage that they have, they could hear the drilling from underneath his cell coming out from his shower. They knew he was going to escape, so they let him escape. They didn't do anything. They knew exactly what was going on, all thanks to the drilling coming from his cell. But they didn't do anything, but they still caught him in 2018. How do I, how do I remember this? Well, I remember this because in Dubai, I was at the police station with mum trying to get some form of ID. And on the news, on BBC News, it said they had caught El Chapo trying to escape the Mexican border. But he didn't get very far. He only got to the border, which was sort of funny, so I'm not going to lie. But anyways, let's continue watching. Normal for the surveillance cameras that track my every move. It's almost time to go. My team broke through and made contact two days ago. I tell you. One of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen was the grin on the face of a dusty miner peering up out of my shower stall floor at me. I could have crawled out with him right mm. then, but I decided not to leave at that moment. No, it was best to wait for a slow time at the prison to make my move. It's a warm Saturday night. All the prison bosses are home drinking cervezas and counting their bribe money as they watch TV. Only the second shift guards are here, and they're lazy. They play poker on their computers, and rarely check the monitors. No one's ever escaped. That is until now. I get up from my bed, and I go to the only blind spot in my cell. Behind the waist-high privacy wall for my shower, and like a magician, I vanish. I am Joaquin Archivaldo Guzman Loera, better known as El Chapo. And I am escaping prison for the second time. Altiplano Supermax Prison is nestled in farmland not far from Mexico City. A warrant of cells, metal detectors, CCTV cameras, steel doors, and access control technology. Those they consider to be the worst criminals in all of Mexico are held here. Servando Gomez, the former head of La Familia Cartel, Political assassin Mario Abuto, the cell from my old nemesis La Barbie, is just down the hall. And me, of course. For nearly 17 months, this prison has been my home. That is, up until seconds ago. 
when I squeezed through a 20 inch 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter hole cut into the thick concrete floor of my shower. It was a tight fit, but I managed it. It's a good thing I lost so much weight here. The guards like to play games. It makes them feel like big men. They punish us for petty reasons and take away our meals. Only the boldest and stupidest of the guards dared to play with me though. The rest show me the respect I deserve. A skip meal or two is nothing anyway. It's like the buzz of a mosquito. I know what hunger is. Hunger is when your body aches from cutting poppy with a machete all day. <laughs> the main reason why the prison guards were being so kind to El Chapo was because they knew what was going on. So they just respected him. They were like, okay, let's do this, guys. Let's be nice to El Chapo and see what goes on from there. But in general, that was the main reason why they were only nice to El Chapo, because they knew what was going on. Thanks to that CCTV footage. I don't know if I'll be able to find the CCTV footage, but if I do, I will put it into this video as it's based on El Chapo. But let's continue watching El Chapo Guzman's story. And your father takes your wages and goes drinking in town. You lay awake, your body throbbing, hearing your baby sisters whimper in their sleep for milk to fill their empty bellies. That's hunger. My sweaty palms are slick on the rungs as I quickly climb down the ladder in the dim shaft under my shower. I have to move quickly. If the wrong guard discovers that I'm gone, they'll send up an alarm and there will be. But there were some guards who were really horrible to Al Chapo, as you heard from this just now. Hell to pay. I don't have as many friends here like I did at Puente Grande. By the time I escaped from that prison, Bear with me a minute, guys. So, sorry about that. By the time I escaped from that prison, half the guards were on my payroll. Here, only a few prison officials have been kind to me. They have chosen not to be curious about the construction noise coming from under the prison and to ignore the noise complaints of the prisoners. That's it. My heart is erasing. When I finally reach the tunnel, it's a long climb down, some 32 feet, 10 meters. My wife's brothers and one of my men are waiting for me. They slap me on the back and we hug. It's good to see them. It's been a long time. I get onto the motorcycle to be towed down the tunnel, away from the prison. People say a lot of things about me. Some praise me to the heavens for bringing work to their villages. Others curse me under their breath, saying that I am a monster, the devil. Perhaps I'm all these things they say I am. So what? First and foremost, I am a businessman. I supply products that people want. Good products at good prices. When he says he supplies good products, we all know what that means. Cocaine, weed, marijuana, all these big drugs that are illegal. So it's understandable why he got arrested for that because he made millions of US dollars, over a million US dollars he got out of that. So you could say he is America's most wanted drug lord of all time but at the moment he is back in prison i don't know if he's still in prison at this very moment there hasn't been anything to do with escape or you know big things about him so let's continue i have a fleet of narco submarines airplanes trucks and boats the sinaloa cartel could not operate in 78 U.S. cities throughout Europe and all the way to Africa if I sold things no one wanted. 
I have never forced anyone to buy my product. I don't kill for the sake of killing. I don't enjoy seeing the light fade from someone's eye or leaving children fatherless. But sometimes that is the cost of doing business. Even Forbes magazine has respected me as an important businessman. In 2009, I was number 701 on their list of the world's richest men with an estimated worth of $1 billion. If only they knew how much I really was worth, I'd be much higher on that list. Not bad for an illiterate kid from the Sinaloa, eh? I study the walls of the narrow tunnel as the motorcycle chugs along the track. My miners have done a fine job. I had to send a team of engineers to Germany for three months of extensive training and tunneling since this project was so much longer than our usual smuggling tunnels. The engineering team's expertise has paid off and just tall enough for me to walk through while standing upright is Bear with me, bear with me one second, guys. Process. My team bought land as close to the prison as they could without raising suspicion. Then they built a house and they began to dig. They dug for months. My lawyer smuggled me a smart watch so they could track my GPS coordinates. Between that and the prison blueprints, we got a hold of. My team knew right where to excavate. The last few weeks, I thought I was going to go crazy with impatience. I could hardly sleep. My lawyer brought word that Mexico was talking of sending me to the US, which was surprising. Many in the government have rings of gold on their fingers that I put there. And this is how they betrayed me? I did not. I do not want to go to America. I have few friends there. The gringos have been itching to capture me for a long time. Chicago even declared me public enemy number. Yeah, but with that, he when he was caught in 2018, hiding out in his one of, I think it was a friend's house. I can't really remember. He never went back to a, me a Mexican prison. He went straight to an American prison, which I think he's still there. I don't know. Like I said earlier, I don't know if he's like has escaped uh, prison because we don't know much anymore. We never hear about these big stories about El Chapo himself. Number one, these Americans. They talk out of both sides of their mouths, blaming the cartels for their crime problems, they should look in the mirror. With us so close to completing the tunnel, it would have been cruel for God to allow the Americans to extradite me before I could escape. Thankfully, he answered my prayers. The motorcycle is almost to the far end of the tunnel. I tilt back my head and laugh so much for your achievement of capturing the notorious El Chapo. President Nieto, we arrive at the end. I quickly climb off the motorcycle and clamber up the ladder into the house. My team has a fresh clothes waiting for me. I change and then we ride ATVs to a Sinaloa warehouse nearby. From there, an SUV picks me up. In the SUV, I turn on the radio. My driver and I laugh and sing along. When a narco corrido celebrating my exploits comes on i crack a window open and the fresh night breeze ruffles my hair where i take a small airplane about a hundred miles north to the city of san juan de rio in the neighboring state of queretaro from here i will catch a plane home to el cielo my estate on the mountain top near la tuna where i grew up at home i will wash the prison stink from my body eat good food and sleep in a soft bed. I'm eager to see my twin girls. While I've been gone, they've grown from toddlers to small children. I hope they remember me. I will throw a big party. Spend some time laughing with friends. I will relax for a few days. 
and then I will get back to work. Certain aspects of my business and reputation have suffered while I was in prison. It will not do to have people consider me to be weak. Did you think I would sit idly by or worse yet, hide from the police like a coward? I am a businessman and if I want to stay in business, to keep my global empire going, I must do what needs to be done. After all, I am a Chapo. Anyways, that's the story of El Chapo Guzman. Bear with me a minute. I will try to find uh, his escape CCTV footage. So if you just bear with me one second, I will try to find that. Okay, here we go, guys. The 11th of July 2015. Here is the CCTV footage of El Chapo's cell and if you listen closely you can hear the drilling and hammering from underneath his cell a pesar de la claridad del sonido a esa misma and like i said earlier the guys didn't do anything about it they just let it happen uh, but anyways, that's the story of El Chapo. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more of the these big famous people, uh, let me know down in the comments section down below. Make sure you guys go press that subscribe button, press that bell icon next to the subscribe button, which get you notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay awesome, boy, and stay cool, girl, and I'll see all you guys in my next video. Bye!